Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Adam Cooper. In this week's video, I'm gonna be talking about what the winters are like in Halifax. Now, everyone loves to talk about the weather, especially people in Halifax. The winters here can be quite harsh. You get power outages, you get school closures, business closures. So it's always good to be prepared. And I feel like when we have a storm coming or there's a snowfall warning in effect, people love to just get the word out there. So can be, people can be prepared and uh, buy their storm chips. Storm chips are a very Canadian thing. So when I moved to Canada, I had this impression that Canada was kind of like snowing all the time. It was always freezing. People had pet mooses, and it was just like a winter wonderland. Um, we landed in August from England, and I kind of stumbled out onto the waterfront. It was a beautiful sunny day. The Buskers Fest was still happening, and it was just like this amazing environment. It was so much fun. And I remember going to work the next day and telling everyone, like, wow, man, like, I thought it was going to be snowing all the time. And like, oh, no, the summers are great here. But in the winter, let me tell you, we get lots of snow, and it gets so cold, it will literally freeze your eyelids shut. And I was like, whoa, my eyelids are going to freeze shut. Like, I believe them. So this year's winter has been very different from what I've experienced since I've lived here over a decade now. Um, normally, we get a little bit of snow before Christmas. Then between January and February, we get a few big kind of snow drops, a little bit of flurries in between a little bit cold days, a little bit freezing. And as you get towards February and more towards deeper into February going into March, when it starts to warm up, you have this weird thing where all the snow melts away and then by mid afternoon, it's now frozen. Then you get freezing rain, then you get snow just to add to the chaos. Now, I love the winter. I love the way everything feels crisp and everything feels fresh. I love a fresh blanket of snow because it's really interesting to film and just makes everything feel kind of magical. But like I said, this year has been quite different. This year, there's almost been no snow. And in fact, someone literally emailed me yesterday and said, I hope you're enjoying your no snow winter, which is wild that we're all noticing that's not happening. The one thing that I will say that uh, is a new thing for me that I've never experienced before is a minus 25 temperatures. Normally in Halifax, we're like minus five, minus six. With the wind chill, it can feel like minus 25, minus 35. But I don't think I've ever had it when the amperature temperature has been minus 25. And man, that was cold. Now you may think no snow sounds like a great thing. And if it's minus 25, you could just stay indoors, but people still need to go out. And there's people that work outdoors. And unfortunately, freezing temperatures cause a lot of outages and a lot of businesses to close. And also, we've seen a lot of ice damage and water damage due to these freezing temperatures. And that affects a lot of homes and a lot of businesses. See, today feels like a fall day. It's a nice blue sky. It's only minus three. It's a little crisp. There's a little bit of ice everywhere where we are right now, um, but there's no snow. So it generally feels like we're in November and not February, which I kind of like, I kind of don't like. I, I love the snow and I love that, that magical feeling you get when you see everything covered white and it looks like a completely different place. Um, but then we don't have the issues of, you know, being snowed anywhere. So it, it's kind of weird. It's a, it is a very strange winter to be frank. I start this video by saying that people love to talk about the weather and I think one thing is that drives that is that it's kind of a shared experience we're all kind of going through it together and you'll always get a lot of people tell you or oh, make sure you change your winter tires or keep your temperatures up in your house so your pipes don't freeze and there is a sense of everyone trying to remind everyone what to do to stay safe um, but for some people um, the winters are actually quite a dangerous time for people that are unhoused or displaced like be sleeping outside or spending a night outside when it's minus 25 is you know that's quite a hard thing and a dangerous thing to do and you know the city does have warming shelters that you open up to make sure these people can have some warmth and stay warm and stay out of the cold and um, but you'll even see people putting coats and blankets out in the, out in the parks and taping messages saying take this if you're cold because you know it's a hard thing to go through and you don't want people you know to be out freezing and you know i think it takes the community to look after everyone so what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave a link in the description to out of the cold and if there's anything you can do to help them whether it's donate some old coats some sleeping bags just give them any kind of supplies or any kind of donations you can so that they can help people that really need a lot of help during this time of year um for a lot of us like me i think of the winter of like ice skating and snowball fights and fun but 
for some people the winter means something very different. So reach out to them if there's anything you can do to help. So thank you for watching this week's video. If you've got any questions about the winters in Halifax or Halifax as a whole, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I'll see you next week. Bye.